Hello and welcome back to another Lamplighters League guide. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our guides. I will do a few guides around team compositions and instead of going through all of the potential combinations, I figured I'll just use typical team setups and we'll talk through them. I came up with four typical teams that I have been running uh, throughout the game. I just want to introduce them to you and uh, tell you how they work. The first team, which I would call The Rock, is a team uh, that we're going to look through today. I'll explain the details of how it works and then we're going to see some gameplay footage. The idea of The Rock team is that said team does have at least one tank in it so that you can uh, basically attract uh, the attention from all of the enemies and that it very much has a focal anchor point a rock from where uh, you are dealing with enemies uh, on top of that uh, you can splice in some nice crowd control or uh, some status effects just to make it more interesting and the example of that team that I wanted to show you today is going to be Judith uh, Latif and Isaac whilst uh, Judith and Latif both fill the tank role Latif on top of it does have some crowd control capabilities um, and Isaac will be the damage dealer. You could substitute either of the tanks for another um, additional crowd control and you could substitute Isaac for any of the damage dealers really and the combination of the rock would still work very well. I think this um, trio here embodies it mostly. So let's take a look at what our agents are bringing to the table. I am rocking a very solid tank build with uh, with Judith. She is uh, having free grenades uh, from uh, her accessory of the Bombardier's Brace. She is immune to fire damage thanks to her Strum's Garment. She will apply a little bit of uh, shocked uh, debuff to the targets that she attacks from range. And with her free grenades, she's just going to use additional grenades. On top of that, her web card allows her to uh, deal with enemy melee characters very efficiently as they are going to be speed debuffed. That nicely stacks together with the speed debuff of Shocked, so both of uh, it can really ruin the day for any melee character. Now that in combination with Latif, who is going to come in as a bit of the oddball healer uh, slash uh, crowd controller in this case. He's already strong with his blind ability and with his provoking. I gave him uh, the weapon uh, talisman for more ammunition. Um, I gave him more hit points. I gave him uh, the accessory Magdal uh, Magdalite's charm, which allows him to not only increase his he uh, health to almost 300, but also allows him to heal everybody. As consumables, I'm going to go with a lot of fire-based stuff since our tank is immune to it, but it also creates nice areas where none of the enemies want uh, to move through. And uh, to uh, continue that kind of fiery theme, Isaac uh, brings to the uh, table that he can also create fiery patches. He's the one who is going to be armor shredding enemies and will also be the one who is mainly dealing the damage. I opted to go with the embroidered um, uh, hand wrap builds uh, where he can stay in his um, fully um, uh, fully uh, heated form for as long as possible and use the extra speed there to kind of reposition a little bit. I upgraded his maximum health with vitality gear so that um, he can have enough health to chuck from and then the embroidered uh, hand wraps will heal him with his shots very much overcompensating any form of heat damage that he is going to take. So he is going to be the main damage dealer that is kind of knocking enemies out one by one whilst Judith and uh, Latif are really going to toy with uh, them and keep them busy. The fire will do the uh, same and we're really going to have a nice interesting position based uh, game. So let's see how the rock as a formation plays out. All right, let's jump right into our first combat encounter or the one that I'm going to show during the guide. We have just engaged a total whooping amount of nine enemies, but that is not going to be a problem for our uh, combination. So 
Um, it is called the rock because it should be working as a rock from uh, uh, from where on you are just trying to fire and uh, get everybody down. So we're being flanked from this angle, meaning one of the first things that I would want to do is potentially get into a better position with Isaac somewhere behind here or either here or over here so that we're really having less enemies that are going to flank us. And the idea of uh, this particular team is relatively straightforward. We are starting to um, begin to buff every single one of them, creating a couple of ability points or action points in uh, the process of doing that. And then uh, we're really trying to tank as many of uh, the enemies as possible. One easy way of doing that is using our tank in order to cover that entire flank over here. So moving up generates one um, AP and we are going to be able to hit three of uh, the enemies hey, at me. once right with here. a blinding. There you go. You can see the provoked and blinding, which is nice. And um, that will allow us uh, to now what? You can't keep up hit this me? target, gain another evasion uh, stack, and on top of it, move into a decent overall location where uh, many of them can see us. Here is good. So the Gentleman Jin now runs three evasion stacks, um, and these guys are blinded. This also frees up a Judith, who is going to use her couple of combinations. For starters, we want um, the enemies Slow over here down. to be slowed. So that means both of the Void Dwellers will have a harder time to approach us. Unfortunately, there are no um, melee opponents for us at the moment. We're going to slap a nice little grenade on top of, uh, uh, on top of uh, this guy. And we are going to knock them down. Perfect and pretty much gain that additional armor. We're now rocking 55 armor, as you can see. So I could either now go for more armor, or we're going to uh, start to soften up the enemies. Another free grenade, thanks to our uh, bundleier, allows us to just starting to soften them up. I could go with another one, but that's really not necessary at this point. Um, what we could do is continue to hit uh, this guy and set him up uh, to die. And that gives us ironclad. We're now up to 60 armor, so almost nothing will be able to stop us at this point. Now up to Isaac, uh, who needs a lot of setup to get, uh, to get going with his gun. So what better way of doing that uh, than uh, hitting the main en enemy damage dealers? So in this case, this guy over here. <laughs> Did you see that? Triple hit, triple armor uh, shred, and we're building up uh, the uh, uh, heat nicely here. As you can see, even more heat is coming in. We could now go with a knockdown um, on that uh, character. Uh, which I think we're going to do just for good measure. That takes them out and we are having plus hit chance plus heat. Lady Castro comes in. I didn't even spot her. So we're going to have a fight against a Scion. And you can see that our great uh, gentleman Jin very nicely can dodge her. Now you've got my attention. At the same time, the Void Dwellers are trying to hit us. Not much is happening there. Enemies are using smoke and trying to stay um, in cover. You can see we're burning, but we're not taking any damage whatsoever. Reason for that is, quite frankly, that we're immune uh, to burning. Um, we're nonetheless going to uh, cleanse. And that gets the poison off of her. The Gentleman Jin is doing that for free. And uh, we do have Distract as our ability ready. So that's a quadruple hit into Blinding. All of them are being provoked.
and the gentleman Jin uh, could now start with uh, some additional damage. One of it could be starting to let all of them burn. That was for free. And we are hitting plus killing uh, someone. That gives us an evasion stack, as you can uh, see, since it's against a blinded target. And the other three are going to run right into us. Isaac, on the other uh, end, uh, will need to deal with Lady Nicastro. Um, she has 0% hit chance because uh, she does have two evasion stacks. But since he attacks at this point five times, you can see that he evades the first two. But then she's getting a lot of extra damage. And now we're at that point where um, our good friend here gets very scary. We're up to 5 AP. And we're now going to see how um, Isaac is going to tear Lady Nicastro to shreds. Full armor shredding and his overheat uh, is just being ignored because he basically just takes the damage like a boss. Continuing to hit her, you can see just how much health and hit chance he's getting. And we're continuing to just uh, shred her down. 450 hit points, no problem. You can see even more uh, healing. <laughs> and finally... From 100 to 0 in just one go. Fantastic. Good. We don't fear any, um, any of uh, the flames. So we should have done that much earlier, by the way. Don't wander off now. Are putting a damage reduction um, up. 50% damage uh, reduction. We can now either charge in and uh, hit all of uh, these guys or uh, just whittle them down a little bit more. Triple hit uh, for free. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, these uh, mirror images won't do much in order to help them. We're reducing stress, are increasing armor, and we're standing there with 40 armor. Enemies are continuing to mark themselves, making it easier for us to hit them. And as you can see, the remaining few enemies are trying to hit us. And the only reason why they could is because the evasion stacks of the gentleman Jin have run off. That's not a problem. 90 damage, not much at the moment. So let's continue. We want uh, to keep the gentleman Jin in here. Uh, and we want to go a little bit uh, further. So let's start with a free grenade. Let's continue by slamming them against the wall. Grenade explodes. We're getting extra armor and we're at 70 armor. The burning doesn't mean uh, jack sh for us because we are just taking uh, the damage like an absolute monster. Um, and... We're continuing to I'm not playing games. hit, shock this guy. A nice little side note uh, that I could tell you is the following. A little trick that I learned getting is getting evasion here plus moving over here for free. So, little side trick that I learned is um, that provoking... Uh, will reveal the right character. Unfortunately, I can't show you because we're not ready with the dis uh, distraction yet. Um, but would I put distraction here? I would see which of these mirror images are actually the the right image. Fortunately, I can't. So what we're going to do is not even using any of our um, uh, ultimates or signature abilities, but uh, we're taking out uh, the enemies. Um, we're seeing. Uh, three um, uh, stacks of evasion on our front line and 70 armor on the other side so it's absolutely phenomenal just how much damage uh, is being dealt to make matters worse you can see 
uh, we do have even more burning. So all of this here is now hostile territory. And uh, this guy has just uh, failed with, uh, their, uh, with their little mirror image trick. Keeps things interesting, eh? You can see just how much stress reduction we do have, how much healing uh, we do have. There isn't much that is happening to us. And that open, uh, uh, that open positioning is, is not doing anything. Uh, the only downside that Judith is uh, facing is a little bit of um, a little bit of poison damage, but even that isn't really doing much. So we're going to Let's reduce we uh, that and cleanse the poison uh, damage. You can see everything is cleansed over here. On top of that, the gentleman Jin, just because uh, we're all nicely clumped up here, is. Um, was about to say going to heal everyone but apparently he's not apparently what we're instead doing is um, moving and uh, in order to move he would need to go into the fire and I don't like that but we can do this here moves to here gets an evasion Heals all three of them. You can see absolute full heal, cleansing, and so on and so forth. Luckily for them, they hide uh, behind cover, but that won't uh, save them forever. If we kill uh, this... Um, this deep spawn then we essentially would remove uh, the void dwelling here so i think what we're going to do is judith is moving up and knowing farewell that there is someone standing behind Let's take up. double slam gives us a enough uh, armor to easily tank that uh, that will also mean we can now show the provoke trick this one here is the right, uh, the correct one. Never saw it come. Gaining additional evasion stacks, so the gentleman Jin is perfectly fine. And you can see just how much uh, damage we're dealing against single targets. There we go. Completely removing uh, that from the equation. Not so hard now, eh? Knockdown into 100% uh, chance to hit. Good, we're seeing only one melee character um, being the remaining <laughs> a poor soul that is standing there. And we can start shredding it. No damage whatsoever. Crit for only 20. Not much that is happening. So, what you can uh, see here is how to gain additional armor. And a kill, so we're back to 70 armor. Where are you off? Free reduction of their movement speed. And a couple of hits, uh, plus application of shocked. There we go, lots of hits. A little pain's good for the soul. Oh. 
And finally, we're just going to cleanse ourselves uh, outside of combat to not uh, take too much damage. Could have um, on on Isaac here. I could have uh, used uh, his um, his uh, vent ability in order to heal him at the very end. Uh, so then he would have uh, ended the combat with complete full healing. But like I said, not the end uh, of the world. Good, and that's really it. Uh, that is the rock uh, formation or the rock team comp uh, composition in a nutshell. It is very strong if you're having a tight spot. The whole fiery uh, side gig makes it even more fun. And with a few consumables that uh, we found, such as the frag grenades, you can see easy to refill what we have lost. And we're ready for the next encounter. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, that team composition. If you did, leave a comment uh, down below and let me know um, what you like about it and what could be tweaked and improved. And as always, see you in the next guide. Bye-bye.